Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to catch a trout, which is something I definitely don't do very often. Um, I've done some trout fishing on this channel before. I've caught some trout, but most of the time I'm going for bass or you know bluegill and sunfish and creeks sometimes too. So today I'm doing something a little bit different, but I'm also trying out a new lure, um, which is which is this Joe's flies right here. And I saw these at Walmart. They're pretty similar to rooster tails and panther martin spinners, which are kind of typically what I usually would use for trout fishing. But they seem like they're a little bit more uh, like targeted for trout. It does say multi-species on there, but as you can see, you know, it has a trout on there and it's called Joe's flies. And usually you use flies for uh, trout fishing, but it's almost like a little hybrid between just like a trout fly and an inline spinner. So I'm excited to see how these spinners will do today. Um, they definitely do seem pretty light. I got a couple different sizes, the size 10 and the size 8. And on the back of the package it actually said that if you needed more weight you can put a split shot like 10 inches up the line so I may end up having to do that but, but hopefully I won't and I'll actually be able to cast these little lures on my six foot ultra or my six foot light action rod so anyway that is enough talking let's get down to this beautiful little creek and get fishing. All right, well, we're in the creek now, and I have the Joe's flies tied on. This is the size eight in the Joe's favorite color, and uh, it's time to see how far we can cast this. I'll try right over there first. Oh, man, we cannot cast this very far. It's not a good sign. It might have just been a bad cast, but this is super light, but it looks good in the water. Yeah, it definitely looks good in the water. So I might just have to add a little split shot so I can actually cast it. Yeah, that's not too far. I can I can cast a rooster tail way farther than that. All right, I'm putting a split shot on. All right, time to see how far we can cast with a split shot. It's a pretty small split shot. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good. I mean, I could use a lighter rod. Like, I don't have a lighter rod with me, but... I could have I guess but a six foot light action is still pretty dang light you got something there we go got a fish okay that didn't take long after I added the split shot it's definitely not a trout I don't think I think it's a bluegill or something yep little bluegill okay well that's a good sign that was my best cast yet I got it a little farther than my first cast or two with a split shot all right, well that gives me hope. And these things come with some tiny treble hooks. So, they'll pr or a tiny treble hook. So they'll be able to catch pretty much anything, like tiny fish too. All right, there's our first little fish. I'll take him. Oh, I got a fish. Oh my gosh, it's tiny. Oh, it's a little perch, I think. Let's see, yep, little perch. I caught one of these the first time I came here. I don't mind catching perch. I mean, I haven't caught many perch in my life either. So a little baby yellow perch. So, so far, I definitely don't think I like this as much as a rooster tail. It's just so light and it's hard to like, I can't cast it very far at all. And with a tiny little one eighth ounce rooster tail, I know I could cast it a lot farther than I can cast this thing. But at least it's caught two fish so far. And I've been fishing for like maybe 10 minutes. So, I mean, it's not bad. All right, we'll let the second little fish go. Baby little yellow perch. Oop, oop, there he goes. Got something, there we go. Doesn't feel very big, but it feels bigger. Or well, nah, maybe not. I think it's a little bluegill. Yeah, another little gill. Well, I don't actually know. I mean, they stock Apparently they stocked this creek weekly with trout from like April to July 4th and now it's like late July so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure there's still trout in here though there's got to be at least a few I've caught two out of this hole well I caught one out of this hole last time and missed one so I know there's there was at least two trout in this hole a few months ago all right there we go Oh, got one. I accidentally, I stopped it right there because I was fiddling with my camera. It's another bluegill, dude. This hole must be filled with some bluegill. 
Well, the Joe's flies definitely catch fish. They're just, so far, not very impressive. All right, to make this more interesting, I'll do a little underwater release of him. There he goes. Got something. It's definitely not a trout. I think I can already know what it is. Another bluegill. Man, there's more, like, kind of more current over there. I caught the trout, like, right over in here last time. Alright, yet another bluegill. I think this is our fifth fish. And, uh, our fourth bluegill. Okay, it looked like he wasn't swimming, but he's swimming. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's working very well so far. It's just not catching the species I want it to catch, so. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully we can run into a trout here soon. If not, I might just switch to another color of the Joe's flies and see if that makes a difference. Well, I haven't gotten a bite in a little while, so I think I'm gonna switch to a different color. Um, I think I might switch to the like neon greenish one, and that one actually has a bigger blade than this one, so maybe I'll be a little bit more weight. I can cast it a little farther. All right, so this one is a little bit bigger. I mean, it's got a bigger blade and two little balls right there instead of one. So maybe I'll be able to cast it farther. I could put like more than one split shot on here, but that's a, yeah, I can cast it a little farther. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Uh, we switched to the bigger spinner and this is what we get. Wow, well. That is something, I guess. Well, I don't know what to say about that one. That's uh, kind of crazy I caught a smaller fish. I mean, all those blue were pretty much the exact same size. And then I switch to a bigger spinner and get like a tiny one. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be another tiny something. Dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, well that's our third species of the day. Right, yeah, that's our third species. But why are they getting smaller with the bigger spinner? It's a little red breast. Oh, there he goes. I was going to take a picture of him, but he fell off. Well, I think I lost it. Yep. <laughs> I decided to put two split shots on there. My very first cast, I got stuck. Mainly because I casted right over a log. I didn't really see it, but now that I'm looking over there, I see the log. Well, I think I might go ahead and call it a video. No, I'm actually not. This is not the end of the video. Originally, I was going to end the video here and then do another video targeting bass at this creek and a nearby river. But I've just decided to combine these two videos kind of into one video because it was all the same day, kind of all the same adventure. And I catch some really cool uh, rare species of bass in this next portion of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. Got him. Something. There we go. Watch it be a trout. <laughs> I was trying to catch trout earlier and I didn't really catch one. Uh, what? It, no way, this is a bluegill. Or no, it's a little bass. It's a little bass. All right. <gasps> it's a Bartram's bass. No way. All right, it's a Bartram's bass. There we go. So they are in here. Wow, I, a few months ago, I, I, mean, I already completed the Georgia black bass slam. Like I got five of the 10 uh, black bass species in Georgia. But I came to this creek trying to catch these guys and I didn't catch any of them. And apparently they are in here because I just caught one. That's pretty cool. So there's also spotted bass in here, which eventually will probably overtake this creek and, you know, hybridize with these guys, which, uh, you know, spotted bass are a threat to a lot of these uh, lesser known like black bass species, which kind of stinks. They basically just take over areas and like, for example, like Lake Blue Ridge, I think used to have a lot of smallmouth in it, but now it's just got like mainly only spotted bass. There's still a few smallmouth in there, but 
Eventually the spotted bass will probably take over this creek, but there are at least still a few uh, Bartram's bass in there. All right, I'm trying to get this guy a, a nice little underwater release of this guy. Hopefully y'all can see him in the net there. I'm gonna just let this net down, see if it'll swim out. Oh, there he goes, oh, there he goes. Wow, what a cool fish. I hope it looks cool underwater. There he is, hiding under that rock. All right, y'all, basically I decided to leave that creek, uh, mainly because I only caught one fish in that deep hole and I like went up that creek a good ways and it, it was just really shallow. Like I drove, I drove the road along the creek and it was just super shallow. So that didn't look too promising and since I only got that one fish from the deep hole, I decided to go ahead and come to the Chattooga River and I'm here at the parking lot, but I have not seen the river yet. So basically, if the river's muddy, I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna fish it, but if it's clear, we are in good luck and I bet we'll be able to catch a bunch of fish. So first we just gotta go see what it looks like. All right, I'm walking up to the river. Still haven't seen it yet. Well, now I can see it. And yes, it looks clear. I'll, I'll come show y'all. Well, this is exactly what you want. Some clear water for some red-eye bass fishing. And when I say red-eye bass, I mean Bartram's bass. Um, that's what's in here. They're just kind of like a subspecies of red-eye bass. So this is a really good sign and I bet we'll be able to catch some fish today. All right, y'all, I've now made it to the deep hole where I caught all the Bartram's bass the first time I was here. And it is, as you can see, it's a lot clearer than it was the other day if you watched uh, my last video, or one of my last videos when I was fishing here. And it was, you know, just super muddy that day, so. I have a good feeling about this. I should be able to catch something. We got one. There we go. Finally got one. Oh my gosh. We might be on to something here. There we go. Yes. Let's see how long I've been out here. I have been out here for 59 minutes and 51 seconds in the scorching heat without a fish. Um, and well, I've been like fishing this hole for that long. Oh, oh, I think I just saw a fish jump too. But uh, I don't know why the fish have just not been biting. And I was like, well, the one place that might be different than the rest of this deep hole is where the water's flowing into the deep hole. And I've only been at this one spot for a couple minutes and I already got one, so. That is a good sign. I thought I was gonna go home empty-handed from this river, which would have really stunk. Cause the water's like perfectly clear today. So I thought it was gonna be like really good, but I don't know. There we go. The skunk for this river is out of the boat. The little Bartram's bass. These fish are really beautiful. And it's really fun catching these guys. Ooh, that feels good. I'm, I was a, a few minutes away from jumping in this water, but now this will give me a little hope. I'll fish a little longer and I think I'm definitely jumping in before the day's done. All right, that's a really beautiful fish. Just like an eight incher, but I will take him. Probably about the same size as the one we caught at that creek earlier. And yeah, he swam right off. So I'm hoping I can get more in that current. I mean, that's the first one I've caught and it was way in the current over there. So, ah, hopefully we can catch some more. Well, I did not catch any more fish that day, which was, I still can't believe because that river just looked so good. The water was really clear. And like the first time I went there, when the water was super clear, I caught a ton of fish, but I did end up jumping into the water that day. That probably felt better than catching that one fish there. And overall, it was still kind of a fun day. I caught, you know, a couple Bartram's bass, which I'd only caught once before. And they're definitely a pretty cool little species of fish. But anyway, I hope you all did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all on that next video. Thanks for watching.